Hi friends, my name is Akil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial I will show you how to use Gmail SMTP to send the email. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is how we can use the Gmail SMTP server to send the emails. So let's jump to the demo. So first of all you need to open the Gmail email address under which you need to configure the Gmail SMTP server. So I can type gmail.com and now I need to sign in. So I can click on sign in and here I can provide my gmail address so I can click on next and now I can paste my password here and click on next so this has opened the gmail address for me and now to configure it I need to go to the account settings so I can click on this particular icon and I need to click on manage your google account so now the first thing here is that we need to configure the two step verification so we can click on security and now if you scroll down then there is an option to step verification so you can click on this particular icon and then you can click on get started so it is asking me to type my password again so i can paste the password and i can click next so now it will send a verification code to my cell phone number so i can click on send and then i can enter the code so i can enter the code that i received on my cell phone number next now I can click on next so I need to type the code here next it worked turn on two step verification so I can click on turn on So now you can see the message that two step verification is on and I can go back. Now if you scroll down under security then there is an option here app passwords. So you can click on this particular option and here you need to provide your email password. So I can click on next. So it is asking me to verify my authentication. So I can select the text and it will send a text to my cell phone number. click next so here we need to select the app and device you want to generate the app password for so I will select the other custom name here and I can name the app as SSIS and I can click on generate so it will generate a password for me for the app so this is the password that can be used so I can copy this particular password and I can save it somewhere so I can save it here and then I can click on done so now we are done configuring the gmail smtp server and now if you want to test it like how we can test the gmail smtp server so if you want to test the gmail smtp server then we can search here test smtp server online and if you see the second option here gmask.co so you can open this particular url so now under SMTP server we need to type smtp.gmail.com and we can give the port number 25 here and the security can be used as auto and under username we need to provide the email address for which we created the app so I can paste the username here and then I need to provide the password for the app the SSIS app so I just pasted the password for the app and then under from gmail address I can provide the email address from which I want to send the email and under to email address I can provide maybe akil33 at gmail.com and now I can click on test it so it should send an email the test email from skumar at 4770 at gmail.com to akil33 at gmail.com so you can see that the email was successful here and I can go back to the gmail.com and I can open the akil33 at gmail.com and can verify that the email was successful. So now you can see that I got a test email here smtp test from smtp.gmail.com test message. So it means that I was successfully able to send the test email from the smtp server for the gmail.com and I will create another video like how we can use this particular gmail smtp server to send the email using ssis or from the csharp.net. So I think that's it for today's video. 
Thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button. Do subscribe to our channel. Press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.